What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Outriders video. Now it is April 1st and today is launch day for Outriders. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you my launch day build for the Pyromancer class. Alright, so this is after the Outriders demo. So I am level 7, world tier 5. I was able to get one legendary on this character being the torment and agony pistols um, but besides that the rest is all blue gear but there is method to this madness and before I can get into the build let's look at the skills that I have chose for launch day alright so starting off I have heat wave this basically just like the devastator earthquake Kind of the same deal, just instead of rocks moving, it is fire. It ignites the enemy, and yeah, pretty cool. Next one I'm doing is overheat. Now, overheat is pretty wicked. What I do in my strategy is I'll use heat wave to catch enemies on, blur uh, on burn, and then I use overheat. Because if you can read it right there, it says enemies afflicted with burn will receive 135 damage instead of the 11 damage. So it's a big boost. So what you want to do is you want to get them on burn and then hit the overheat. And that'll just mess them all up. And then finally, kind of the same logic goes here with the thermal bomb skill. So if the enemy is already on a burn, it'll, it'll really mess them up and explode. When they explode, they do 336 damage. It's quite a, spec, a spectacular sight, I promise you. So what I do is I go with Heat Wave, I catch them on fire, and then I can either go with Overheat or Thermal Bomb. Either way, as long as the enemy is on burn, it's really going to do some cool stuff. So back to the build. Overheat, Thermal Bomb, and Heat Wave are my skills. So let's look at the gear. Starting off with the headgear. Thermal Bomb mod on the headgear. It is called Lasting Fire. And this increases the time in which killing an affected enemy will cause them to explode by 3 seconds. So, now you need to kill them within three seconds of them being affected by the thermal bomb. And as long as you can do that, they will explode, and it's really cool. Next up is the upper armor. This is for the overheat skill. And this one increases your weapon damage against enemies that are damaged by that skill by 25% for eight seconds. So wherever you're aiming that overheat skill, just make sure you shoot those enemies as soon as you're done hitting them with that skill. Next up is the lower armor. This one comes with burnt out. It is a mod for the heat wave skill. And what this does is it dam uh, damaged enemies will take 25% more damage for eight seconds. So what you can do, you can shoot the enemy a few times hit them with the overheat, it'll make that 25% buff active. And then when they're on burn, you can either mess them up with your other skills, or if you remember from the headpiece, um, you get, or the upper piece, you get to have increased weapon damage against affected enemies. So if you do it right, you can get 25% extra damage on the front half and the back half of using your skills. These mods do matter when making a build. And then go down to the gloves. This one is for the heat wave skill. It is called a radiation wave. It inflicts weakness on enemies that are affected by the skill. So you get 25% more damage if they're already hurt when you use it. Heat wave will also give you 25% more weapon damage if they are burning. And now you get to inflict weakness on them. So you can see where all of these mods are starting to work together. And then finally, the boots. This is for the thermal bomb skill. And this one will inflict ash on enemies within 7.5 meters 
of an enemy that it has exploded. So whenever you use that thermal bomb right here, once they explode, the enemies around them will not only get hurt, but it'll also inflict ash. So all these skills just got a little bit better. Now let's go to the weapons and I will get you out of here. So the best weapons I found in the demo for my, tr uh, for my Pyromancer, the Assault Rifle. This one's only at 272, but it has Anomaly Surge. So critical hits will spawn an Anomaly Energy Blast that deals 31 damage in a 2 meter radius. So you get a lot of those hordes of enemies rushing you. You can use this, and as long as you hit those crit hits, you should be good to go. Now remember, it has a crit multiplier of 125 and crit damage buff of 12.8 for this assault rifle. And also keep in mind, this is only for level 9 gear, so this is just for the start of launch day. I'm sure in the next day or two I'll have updated builds for all of these characters. Next up is the shotgun. Uh, pump shotgun uh, does so much damage. Now I know the automatic shotgun's a lot of fun, but you lose bullets really quick and they don't do as much damage. So what I did is I went with the pump action shotgun. That way I get more damage and this inflicts weakness on enemies that I shoot with it. So I get a lot more damage and I'm also inflicting weakness. And then finally, like I said in the beginning, I did get the Torment and Agony Legendary Pistols on this Pyromancer. Now just to do a little overview, it comes with two different mods. One is a Tier 1 mod and one is a Tier 3 mod. Now it is level 9 because I did get this in the demo. So these mods, Judgment Enforcer, this is your Tier 3 mod. and uh, shots will mark the enemies. When reloading, it'll deal three times your weapon damage to every enemy that is marked. These marks are removed when you change weapons. So if you're running around shooting them with the pistols, you can mark them all, and then when you reload, it, it'll deal all that extra damage. And then the other mod is a tier one, and it's called Clip uh, Combustion. Reloading your weapon will create a shockwave, dealing 75% damage to enemies within 5 meters. So all of those rushers, hordes of enemies, things like that, this is perfect. So using the Judgment Enforcer, every time you shoot an enemy, it'll mark them. When you reload, it'll do damage to them. And then on top of that, when we reload, the Clip Combustion will release a shockwave that'll hurt enemies all around us. So just overall, this is a very, very strong legendary weapon. All right, now this is the Pyromancer, so the only other thing I can really show you is my class. Now what I did is I chose to go the route of the anomaly, or skill builds, as you will. It is called Temptus, and what this is going to do is it's going to rely more on my skills, giving me both life, more damage, and just better cooldowns. So through the demo, you were only able to do two of them. So what I did is I went with Anomaly Power to help my skills become more powerful. And then I went with the cooldown. That way I have my skills faster and they are also stronger. So that's pretty legit. And that is it. This is my Pyromancer launch day build. I went ahead and I spec'd fully into Heat Wave, Overheat, and Thermal Bomb. Now let me know in the comments section below if you guys use the Feed the Flames skill. Because that's a whole different conversation. I'm not a huge fan of that skill. But uh, maybe one of you can uh, convince me otherwise. But alright, I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. Hope you are enjoying launch day of Outriders. I know I am. Don't forget to hit that like. Support the channel by subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.